City Church family and friends. My name is Cindy Dodds. Most importantly, I'm a mom and a nana, but I also serve as the chief of Flourishing Schools Initiatives at the Association of Christian Schools International. I've spent the majority of my life in ministry to children with the goal of reaching their hearts for Christ and guiding them towards living in the truth. Whether you're a parent, a grandparent, or a guardian of a child, the discipleship of the children in your care is perhaps the most important calling in your life. I would contend that it is a parenting priority. There are so many scriptures that compel us to minister to our children. Here are a couple that I think you're probably familiar with. Matthew 19:14. Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Proverbs 22, 6, train children in the way they should go, and when they grow old, they won't depart from it. But this one is my favorite, and I've made it a theme for this podcast series. I have no greater joy than this, to hear that my children are living according to the truth. 3 John 1, 4. So we're going to spend the next few minutes unpacking our city church four chair concept and what it means for you as you raise the children in your care. Let's pull up chair number one. This chair is titled come. If your child is in this chair, they're not quite a believer yet, either because they are too young to understand their sin nature and their need for Jesus or because they are still learning about themselves and their need for Jesus in their life. Don't forget, they are watching you as you demonstrate your own faith in Jesus on a daily basis. My prayer for you is that you will have the opportunity to invite your child to acknowledge their sin, see their need for Jesus, and trust him as their Lord and Savior. Let's move on to chair number two. This is our connect chair. If your child is in this chair, they are a new believer in Jesus and need to connect with God through the scriptures. Practices are in place at home to foster that relative to their developmental age. In addition, your child will also need to connect with other like-minded believers. This often takes place at church but you can also be intentional by inviting their Christian friends over to play, particularly those who have a positive influence on your child. Now we can pull up chair number three, the contribute chair. This is when your child is equipped to begin helping others come to Jesus and they find ways to serve others in age appropriate ways. They begin to care for those in chairs one and two by knowing and praying for them by name, by sharing the gospel or their personal testimony, along with helping their own friends take steps of faith. Chair four is the coach's chair. This is when your child has discipled a friend to the point that their friend is now making disciples. Currently, This is your role in your child's life. You can help your child get to chair four by intentionally modeling for them ways to reach their peers and move them through the chairs. In order to become the coach you want to be for your child, you will need to develop and establish some cultural rhythms in your home throughout a given week. I am sharing some of the habits of the home that research teaches us. These habits effectively influence the faith formation of children. These bullets are a summary of research constructs from Barna, Focus on the Family, Axis, and from my own company, the Association of Christian Schools International, as well as others. What we know is that you need to be intentional about setting aside time each week for prayer, for reading the Bible, for worship, which includes attending and serving at church, 
for building meaningful relationships with your children and finding ways to rest or relax together. And finally, in our crazy world today, we learn that regularly reinforcing their identity in Christ and modeling humility has an impact on their formation as well. What each of those elements look like developmentally through the years from birth to college is very different. In future podcasts, I hope to provide you with some practical tips and some practices around these cultural rhythms in your home based on your child's age. But for now, please know that I'm praying for the parents in our church that you will have no greater joy than to know your children are living according to the truth. God bless you all and see you at City Church soon.